I've helped collectors buy and sell millions in rare collectibles. The sale prices in this video are all backed by real data from top auction houses like Heritage. I know what makes coins and currency valuable and today I'll break it down for you with some incredibly rare coins that if you had them, there would be a great possibility that you could just simply retire. Let's just go ahead and hop into this video. Now this first coin is a genuine United States walking liberty half dollar. So this is a 50 cent piece, beautiful design very very collectible in the coin industry so most of the time you can get these coins not that much over their melt value because they're 90% silver and 10% copper that's what makes them really valuable but this specific coin sold for $168,000 and the reason for that is because it's a rare 1921 s 50 cent walking liberty half dollar graded by NGC at a mint state 66 so once again really rare type of coin it really comes down to the supply and demand how many of these coins were actually produced? This is the key date that you want to be going after if you have one of these coins. Once again, $168,000. Here's another US coin that sold for $372,000. So this is a 1920 D, 25 cent United States genuine coin. PCGS graded this at a mint state 68 plus with the full head and it has a CAC sticker. So you've got a few things here. We're going to break it down really quickly. So before the Washington quarter, we had this beautiful 25 cent piece called a standing liberty quarter so a few things like i said the plus designation after the grade is really going to increase the value but essentially it just means that the graders whoever graded this coin said that the coin looked really nice for its grade all right the plus sign really does increase the value it has the full head designation so this coin in particular has a hard time striking the head area of the coin so liberty's head there is usually very weak but if it's struck boldly like this one it's going to get a full head designation Designation. Again, it seems silly, but it adds value. Also, you have the CAC sticker. So CAC is another third-party company where they essentially grade the grade. They look at the coin and say, hey, is the coin graded accurately? If so, they're going to add that little CAC sticker, and that really adds value. So all these things combined allow this coin to sell for $372,000. If you have a coin like this, you want to be looking for the 1920D, the Denver minted coin, okay? Now, it's kind of hard to see, but look for that small D mint mark on the front bottom bottom left hand side of the coin that is where you'll see that D mint mark $408,000 for this 1944s one cent coin so back in the day the US needed bronze for ammunition so in 1943 the US transitioned from the bronze planchet into a zinc coated steel planchet okay so in 1944 when they no longer needed bronze for ammunition they transitioned back into the bronze planchet but this coin as you can see was accidentally struck on on the wrong planchet. So once again, 1943 coins should be struck on zinc coated steel planchets, not 1944. This is the wrong type of material that it was struck on, which is why this coin sold for $408,000. $456,000 for this Roosevelt dime. Now this is such an amazing coin because it has a small little detail that not many people know to look out for. So when it comes to the 1975 Roosevelt dime, you want to be looking for the mint mark. So the mint mark is typically above the date but this coin is missing the S mint mark. Now don't get this confused. You need to pay attention here. 1975 was produced in San Francisco, which has an S mint mark, and Philadelphia, which has no mint mark. So this coin looks very, very similar to the Philadelphia issued coin, but this one is a San Francisco minted coin. And the way you can tell is that if you have a coin that is a proof coin. So we're going to show you the difference right here. You must have a proof coin that is missing the S mint mark to have this coin. I'm I'm spelling this out very clearly to you guys because this coin gets a lot of questions because a lot of people watch the videos and say, oh my gosh, I have this coin. But in reality, they don't. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you have a 1975 coin that has no mint mark? If so, let me know because chances are you have the Philadelphia issued variety of this coin. Now to dive a little bit deeper, some people will do the wrong thing and they will try to coat the coin to make it look like a proof coin. So they'll get a Philadelphia issued coin they'll plate it to make it look like a proof coin and then be like oh my gosh i have a rare san francisco proof coin that has no s mint mark and try to sell it for half a million dollars so there's huge incentive for these guys to manipulate the coins to make them look like these rare coins when in reality all they have is a philadelphia issued coin that is not a proof coin okay no mint mark on those guys four hundred and fifty six thousand dollars let's head over to this coin that sold for eight hundred and forty thousand dollars that's right guys we're closing in on a million bucks for this coin 
Bitcoin. We're getting close. This is a 1943D one cent coin graded by PCGS sentiment state 64 Brown. Now, if you were paying attention earlier, you would know that in 1943, all coins should have been struck on a zinc coated steel cent planchet. Planchet just means the piece of metal. This coin was very clearly struck on a bronze planchet, okay? That's because the US was needing to save bronze for ammunition, but accidentally there were a few coins that got struck on this bronze planchet. Now, there are some collectors out there that go crazy over these coins, obviously, because you can see they dropped $840,000 for this coin. It's just mind blowing what some people have in their bank accounts that they're able to spend this much money. I mean, just absolutely mind blowing. But hey, that is life changing money that someone could retire on, depending on their financial situation. Once again, $840,000 because this 1943D coin was struck on a bronze planchet. Now, this is the holy grail, I would say. This is a 1913 genuine United States five cent Liberty coin, okay? So before the Jefferson nickel, there was this beautiful coin. You've got Lady Liberty on the front. It's a beautiful example. It's a proof coin, so it's very shiny and lustrous. NGC graded it at a proof 64. And guys, it sold for $3,737,500. Just like I said before, all of the sales in this video are 100% paid in full, genuine sales through heritage auctions. These are all legitimate sales. That is so much money for a little piece of metal. Can you believe it? Tons and tons of money, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to get our free coin and currency ebook down below, and we will see you guys in the next video.